Where's the forest? We decided to start forest school at, at Reflections mainly because when I was a child I had um, the opportunity to go out and play outdoors a lot. Um, I had two brothers, we'd spend a lot of time in the Lake District and we would, we'd make fires, we'd cook our own food, we'd you know, dam streams, we'd be swinging over streams and the, I don't feel that children get that opportunity anymore. I think children get so much out of it, it's unbelievable. Uh, I, I mean, I take my hat off to the parents because they have to trust us um, and they've got to accept that you know, we're managing the risks appropriately. But I genuinely feel that there are, there are less risks in the woodland than there are indoors sometimes. Um, there, you know, there's much more space, children can express themselves much more freely and all of the aspects of the, of the sort of work that we do and all the aspects of the EYFS, the Early Years Foundation stage, get covered so easily in the woodland. You've got endless resources, endless space, endless opportunity. And the only limit really is, is yours or the children's, more to the point, imagination. We're going to make a different house for someone else. What are you doing with Children get very physical in the woodland, which is fantastic. So they can learn to climb trees, but uh, they will cross ditches, they'll swing on rope swings, and we've got all of that right around us. Um, and, they'll, and they'll problem solve with barrels in and out of ditches and, and weaving, a tree, weaving a huge log through the trees um, to see if they can make a, a new den or maybe a, a new base somewhere. Um, and those things require often quite a, quite a lot of collaboration and teamwork, so they get to work brilliantly together uh, and, and in a fantastic setting. I think children develop a lot of independence out of this experience as well. They can learn skills. They, you know, we work. We often work with the children on um, working with bow saws, uh, fire making, den building, and those are genuine skills that they can acquire. Another go. That's it. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. Lots and lots and lots of times. No. I think parents have shown a lot of good faith uh, in uh, uh, you know, uh, allowing their children to come with us, but also in, in encouraging them. Um, we reciprocate with, um, with a diary 
um, that we send to parents every, uh, every day immediately after the session. So it gives them an opportunity to know exactly what their children, uh, their child has been doing. And it gives them a lovely touch point with them so that they can say, oh, I saw that you climbed the, the big tree today or that you crossed the, um, the ditch on the, on the sticks uh, or you were on the roly-poly. And, um, it, and, and those, you know, those lovely things that, uh, are, are great opportunities for parents to just sort of tap in through the Children's Day. And I know that parents appreciate it because we get a lot of really, really positive feedback. I'm cow. My girlfriends have gone to work. The diary that's sent back, and when we sit and look at that together, that is really great because mm -hmm. he he tells you things and the little snippets that they record of what he says, like when he picked up a stick and it was like a, he said it was a crocodile. <laughs> it was fantastic because it was just this whole story then developed from it. For me, actually, on a personal note, I, I go away on trips and maybe I am, I don't know, somewhere like in Jamaica and I get the little forest report and it's so great to see what he's actually been doing on the day when I am, you know, miles away and I can just see here and say, oh, it just, it, it just feels great. Just read for the report on the day, you see the photographs and you see what he's actually been doing on that day. It's really good. with um, and parenting Suki is really fundamental to her um, her well her general well-being and how she respects others and how she respects nature she's broadening her knowledge of um, plant life and and also it's really cultivating um, an already active imagination because uh, they come back and talk a lot about fairies and and things that they found. I like the fairies. Um, uh, I hear them, not see them. I hear them from high, from high, from far, 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 far away. They sound. Because that's how they talk. They're saying. That means they're picking flowers. I can hear them right now. But they're saying, oh, look at pictures, look at pictures of flowers. I like all picking flowers and I like um, picking branches for my fire. Uh, when we go, we go to the park and um, to live right on the park. She references her swimming from the tree or swimming on the rope swing. Yeah, she kind of likens herself to a monkey. 